Hey guys, just thought I'd do a, a quick little video here to talk about the new Bumblebee trailer that just hit. First and foremost, I'm completely, completely sold on the character designs, the more G1 resembling character designs. I never liked the look of the Michael Bay Transformers. They all look very similar and it's very hard to tell the intricacies of what's going on because it's just so much detail all at once. These designs are very simple. They're very sleek with like Optimus Prime and Starscream and Soundwave, Ravage and you know all those guys in there. And to be perfectly honest, even if that's the only thing that they fixed out of all of the problems with those other Transformers movies, at least that's a step in the right direction. I do hope there's a bit more of an emphasis on the Transformers as the characters. There, there certainly does seem to be more of one on Bumblebee. We do seem to get some scenes flashing back to Cybertron. I think that'd be a pretty interesting way to develop the other Autobots if that's something that they're gonna do. And then of course you could have their relationship with Bumblebee and cutting back and forth between that and him on Earth with Haley Steinfeld and, and all that kind of stuff. It could make for a pretty interesting character movie with, with Bumblebee. I don't think they're going to have Optimus Prime and the Autobots come to Earth or anything like that. I think they're going to wait until after this movie comes out before fully committing to this being a reboot. They're going to want to be able to fall back on those previous, you know, like the Mark Wahlberg movies in the event that this does really badly, but I don't think it will. You can call me optimistic on that one. Bumblebee. You must protect Earth and its people. As for the human cast, it does look like there are gonna be a few human characters in this one. There's Haley Steinfeld, of course, who's who's a terrific actor, so that's great. And then John Cena, who has quite a lot of charisma, so that's definitely a good thing as well. There's no evidence in the trailers of any of the really, really dumb, inappropriate humor that a lot of the Transformers movies are kind of known for, although, admittedly, it, it'd be pretty easy to edit around that. I am directly below. If in fact there is still a lot of that stuff, we'll kind of just have to wait for the movie to come out in order to tell whether or not that's been cleaned up a bit. Michael Bay, from what I understand, is, is pretty much completely out. I know he's producing it, but he's no longer directing, so I don't think he's going to have a very hands-on role. I think people like that. <laughs> Overall, I think I could say that uh, I'm definitely optimistic for this one. Like I said, e even if all they fixed is the character designs and everything else is still just as bad as before, that still would make this better than everything else that came before, so I'm excited. I will say for sure this is the most excited that I've been about one of these Transformers movies since the first one came out in 2007. Those other ones are really, really, really brutal. Hey! I'm Wang. Deep Wang. Deep Wang. You're not getting it. Deep throat. So that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts on the new Bumblebee trailer are down below and, and whether you're looking forward to that movie or not. There's some other videos up here on the screen you can check out if you'd like to do that. Beast Machines is coming along. It should be coming up fairly soon. Thanks very much once again for watching and take care. Deep Wang. <laughs>